What's up, everyone? Mike from What the Fun. This debate section is from our latest episode of Test Your Might, the weekly video game debate show. The full episode is found on any podcast app of choice with Apple and Spotify links down below. Thanks for watching. Enjoy. Uh, on to the namesake of the show. Are you guys ready for Test Your Might today? Born ready. Um, maybe. We'll see. If, I... if you are ready, say R. <laughs> All right. Um, so this is a unique ec- episode. We're going to ha- actually have two mystery debate blind fights, uh, which are scattered in here. The first one is not. Uh, and so it goes as followed. Street Fighter VI released TMNT, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, collaborations with costumes and a whole bunch of extras, uh, which was released on August 8th. So I ask you, what is the next 80s slash 90s cartoon or kids show crossover collab? Uh, and I'm going to just say pick a number one to eight. One, two, eight. That is correct. Uh, and go on three. One, two, three, go. Seven. Two. Okay, my number was six. So, Cicero, would you like to go first or second? I will go second. All right. Mike, uh, this is a normal blind fight. We'll go back and forth. We'll get our pauses for this topic. This is a Go blind ahead. fight, not a blind fight. No, I, no, a random, un, regular. Okay. S- fight, uh, Cicero, <laughs> um, what's my choice for this uh, right. <laughs> debate? <laughs> uh, so I was, uh, I was thinking about uh, this, um, and I know in the, I know in the doc it says uh, specifically cartoons, but I was also thinking about. Oh, it does say kids show, and never mind. Um, so for me, I was I was trying to think about uh, a cast of characters uh, that have sort of a unique, um, you know, design, um, unique like uh, color palette as well. That is somewhat similar to uh, you know the TMNT. Like TMNT, yeah, obviously they're all turtles, but at least they're unique in what their weapons are and and their and their masks and stuff. So I was trying to think of also um, what sort of costumes, what sort of things would be able to be implemented into the game. Because remember, this is not like TMNT characters. They're not playable. They're not like actual characters. They're just they're just a collaboration of costumes and stuff. And so I thought that the perfect fit would be the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I mean, this is a squad um, that you, they just have, they just have a costume. Like they, they have the Red Ranger, Green Ranger. They have all of the Rangers that you could easily implement into uh, a fighting game as just, as just like a a little tidbit, um, a little, a little, you know, crossover that that's going on with TMNT. I I wanted to pick a Disney show, but I've, but I figured that like Cicero would, you know, just completely destroy my argument saying Disney would never do that because it's Disney. Um, So I I decided to choose, uh, you know, just a, just a, you know, Saban and and just a, just an easy Power Rangers collab here. So. All right, it's morphin' time for uh, Mike over there. Cicero, what do you got over there for your 80s, 90s cartoon slash kids show? Well, uh, much like Mike, I when I when I was thinking about this this particular question, I was thinking about shows that had an ensemble cast so that you can have lots of of people involved in this, right? So it's not just a few, um, and much like Mike, I wanted elaborate costumes, uh, things that you can use within the game. And that is why I chose what I think is the obvious choice of uh, the perfect uh, collaboration marriage between the, the classic fighting game and the most American fighting genre by bringing in Hulk Hogan's rock and wrestling. <laughs> All right. Uh, Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan's wrestling. Over rock, there. rock and wrestling. Okay. Uh, rock and wrestling. Wrestling. Yes. Yes. All right. Mike, go ahead. Uh the floor is yours. If you'd like to build yours up more or destroy Cicero's, go ahead. 
Well, I just I just have to pick my mind up from the floor because I I need to figure out what this Hulk Hogan's Rock and Wrestling is. I've never seen it before, so just just picking out picking out some. Uh, okay, well, I can all ex- right. So I can so this this is a CBS owned uh, property. So that you know, so this this also means that like they might play nice with Capcom because I mean Nickelodeon CBS owns <laughs> you know. Owns the turtles, so right. it's all good. Um, all right, I can't pick apart your argument that way. Um, <laughs> so anyway, I just, I, I mean, the, the Power Rangers have just a, a bevy of content uh, that they that you could choose from. You obviously have the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. You could even throw in the White Ranger if you want. Uh, but you also have the villains um, in their awesome uh, costumes there. You could do Rita Repulsa on, on one of the female fighters um, or on, like, Ryu, whatever. <laughs> You have Lord Zed, who is just this like bulky dude, like really, really, really bulky, um, you know, guy that obviously have you seen the trailers or have you watched Street Fighter six at all? They're all bulky. They have veins on their veins like Lord Zed. That's the dude, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, you have you have a uh, Gengar like like he's he's That's there. A Pokemon. Uh, no, it's Goldar. Sorry, not Gengar. That's a Pokemon. Goldar. <laughs> I'm mixing it up here. Um, you have Goldar, who is, uh, you know, he's he's a good fighter, too. He also has a weapon, so there's there's some of these characters that do have weapons as well. Um, and so so do all the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, right? Um, yeah, I. it's going to be very hard. Um, Hulk Hogan's wrestling, um, I'm looking at the cast of characters, doesn't necessarily look like, you know, it, it sort of fits the bill of like this this ensemble of team that could just easily, you know, throw in some <laughs> throw in some costumes for. Um, I, I don't know this uh, show, so maybe Cicero can enlighten me a little bit uh, because it's going to be hard to pick pick this apart for me. Uh, I'll be honest; um, I've never seen this and never heard of it. So, well, All right, go ahead, Cicero. Okay, you can do whatever you'd like. If you want to make it easier for him to pick it apart, or you want to just keep building yours <laughs> up, or pick his apart, whatever you want to do. Well, go ahead. Um, it's real easy for me to to pick apart the. Uh, Power Rangers because it's it's a lot of the same with just different colors um, and and a couple of villains so like even as you go through the different iterations of them it's the same color palettes just with different shapes cool it you could use it it's that's great I get it but here we've got a dynamic story of good versus evil um, the bad guys and the good guys Rowdy Roddy Piper is leading the group of the heels against <laughs> Hulk Hogan and the good guys. So you had Rowdy Roddy Piper and you had uh, Nikolai Volkov and Mr. Fuji and the Iron Sheik and Big John Stud versus Hulk Hogan and Junkyard Dog and Captain Lou Albano and Tito Santana and Mean Gene Okerlund would be there as they would ride across the country to to right wrongs and fight the good fight and they would be uh, you know they'd reset every week uh, every Saturday morning it was wonderful but in the game you you know one thing about the wrestlers are they're iconic. They have uniforms, and all of their uniforms are unique. We talk about weapons. Um, Hacksaw Jim Duggins got a two by four, so you'll be able to use a two by four. And Andre the Giant. Think of Zangief and Andre the Giant wearing Andre the Giant's uh, one. You know the one strap leotard thing, unitard thingy with the one strap on it but that's you know that's the Andre the Giant thing and you know somebody could be wearing the red and the gold of of Hogan you know you think of Guile wearing the red and the gold of Hogan with the with the with the boots uh with the tassels on them and then using the belt as as a weapon there's there are so many different things that you could be doing here Junkyard Dog's got his chain there's uh Jimmy Superfly Snooker, 
the fabulous Moolah. Like these are all of the wrestlers from from a bygone era when when before they got the f out of there. <laughs> this is what this is what <clears throat> wrestling was, and you can bring that into Street Fighter and all that iconography, uh, and and use it to your heart's content because there's so much of it, and it's all unique. All right, Mike, uh, this is your last uh, rebuttal. Okay. Uh, go ahead, whatever you'd like to do. There's no time limit or anything. Yeah, you said you said that Power Rangers um, is, you know, it's just all the same, but different color palettes. Uh, isn't that what they just did with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? <laughs> like, it's literally, it's literally the, the same design, different color palettes. I think that Capcom is looking for something kind of easy um, that would sort of be quick painless to implement into the game again this is just cosmetics so i think it's just it's just a lot easier on on my end um and uh you also said that like you said the word iconic and i and that that really struck a chord with me because i've never heard of your show and maybe that's because i wasn't born in the 80s but I think that there are people who weren't born in the 90s that know about the Power Rangers. And I think that Capcom would rather put in a sort of collaboration that would fit the bill of Iconic that would actually move people to be excited to maybe pick up Street Fighter and play with the Red Ranger as Ryu in, instead of uh, a Hulk Hogan show. Uh, also, like Hulk Hogan's not... I'm pretty sure he's not doing the best right now. <laughs> like, so I don't, I don't know if Capcom would want to bring in Hulk Hogan stuff to their game where the Power Rangers are, they're doing good. Like <laughs> there's, there's nothing going on in their personal lives. <laughs> you know? So I mean, <laughs> this, this just might be a better, better fit. Um, and another thing here though, is that <clears throat> the music, uh, the Power Rangers music is so iconic. Um, the, just the theme song in general, uh, that, I believe one of the things that I have heard a lot about with Street Fighter uh, 6 is that the music in it is really good. It has sort of this hip hop like uh, theme to it and everything. And they could do sort of like a hip hop rock version of the original soundtrack for or the original song of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers to to implement that into the game as well. Um I think, again, this is just a better choice, a little bit more iconic, also easy to develop, also a, a, a bigger pantheon of, of fighters that you could add as uh, cosmetic collectibles. Um, All right, so your last rebuttal. Go ahead. Yeah, so I, like, I disagree with that last point, right? Because I still stand by the fact that regardless to whether you're talking about you know the first group of of uh, rangers or the twenty seventh group of rangers. It's it's like you know you're one of six, maybe seven colors. Usually it's five, and uh, they're just different shapes, right? Like that's that's really it. People have their favorites, and it'll be cool for those couple, and that's it. Now you're right. Hulk Hogan's, you know, <laughs> but Hulk Hogan is a thing, right, that people know. But all of these wrestlers are things that people know. And you talk about the soundtrack. I mean, wrestling is about theatricality. Street Fighter, one of the things that makes Street Fighter the game that it is, is the, the, the theatricality. So you talk about the music. All of these wrestlers had iconic wrestling theme songs that they walked out to, their entrance music. So imagine someone hitting a special and the entrance music for one of these uh, one of these wrestlers is playing in in a, a refreshed version of it. This is not only something new and exciting, but it's something that people can learn about. Right. Like they like wrestling. Yes, you're right about the Power Rangers being iconic um, and maybe more relevant to people that are of your age group than this show specifically. But the wrestlers themselves and wrestling itself is something that uh, that people know and understand, even if they weren't born then 
and they they know about the history of those particular characters and to be able to play as those characters through a proxy and have some of the other things that are going on along with that because it's just so over the top is is a perfect marriage for Street Fighter 2. Okay. Both these items or options are very interesting. Uh, I have watched this Hulk Hogan show. I remember watching this. Uh, and of course, I've watched Power Rangers, so I'm in the middle of both. Now, I think the the hardest hits came when Cicero talked about the color schemes being similar and not very different. But at the same time, so was TMNT, and Mike hit on that point. Now, also, Mike came back with maybe not the Power Rangers are different, but the villains will be. And that was a huge point here of showing the difference of there are going to be similarities to the TMNT with similar color schemes, but also the outfits to the T of veins on top of veins, which he stated, uh, was a really good point. The soundtrack coming in, both of you hit that very well. I like both of those arguments. Uh, and also, hearing a hip-hop version of either of these would be really interesting uh, to hear these old theme songs for the wrestlers and also a Power Ranger theme song in hip-hop would be awesome. I think I'm going to have to give this one uh, Rip the Green Ranger and throw it at Power Rangers for the win on this. I think that it would work really well Salute. Uh, to bring them in. <laughs> they are still relevant and they are still in people's hearts right now. And Power Rangers would work really well. So, Mike, I'm giving you on the dub on that one. I've, I've never uh, heard of Hulk Hogan's the, the show. I, I might have to sneak an uh, episode yeah. or two. This is, uh, you know, man, I should have gone with my, my second choice then. <laughs> uh, my other choice was Thundercats. Uh, that oh. that would have worked. <laughs> that would have worked really well. Uh, now, okay. Okay. <laughs> 